some of the biggest cheapskates that people ever met. My cousins didn't know that ketchup and mustard came in bottles because my uncle would just steal packets from McDonald's to use at home. They were by no means struggling. He was just very, very cheap. A penny saved is a penny earned. So cheap, it was an art form. He also drank creamers at diners and took all the jam on the table. <gasps> Except for grape because he found out somewhere that grape was the least expensive of the jam So he left it to be spiteful now that's going to lengths to take free stuff. Okay back in my day when I was very Financially struggling if I ever went to Tim's let's say to get a tea or coffee I would get one extra sweet one not a whole bunch I'd grab one extra sweetener on the side and I would take that home and add it to a collection. <laughs> so um, I wasn't trying to be cheap because I did buy a coffee, but I was cheap in the sense that I was struggling a little bit. <laughs> I just kind of evened out in my head, if that makes sense. I paid for a shawarma for me and a friend. After he eats half of it, he offers to sell me the remainder. I, I need to paint the picture here. I'm not seeing it clearly. Shawarma. Friend buys it for you. So you didn't pay for the shawarma. Eat half the shawarma. I will give you this half if you give me money. So he wants a free shawarma and money. Are we sure? That, are we sure this is a friend? Are we sure? How close are we with this friend? A red flag is going off here. The wife of one of our couples group would. Like, couples group, you know, like, are we swinging? Or is this just like a group of friends that are couples? The wife of one of our couples group would sneakily leave her jacket or scarf or such at the serving table and remember it just as we left the table, run back and cut five to 10 out of the tip that was left there and pocket it. <gasps> She continued to attempt to do this after, even after she got caught. If she did the inviting, we discovered she would hustle people away from the table about the same time another group would leave and cut back and take a share of the tip they had left. That's crazy. Not only is she taking from the server and the wait staff that earned that tip, realistically, but just stealing from your friends. You are stealing from the group. That's insane. And somehow I'm not totally surprised because we have no faith in humanity and let's cheers to that. <laughs> cheers to the good people that are left on this earth. May I be one of them. I like to think I am. Cheers. Hope you're having a good day. Complain that a steak wasn't good quality, too fatty. Manager provided another steak and was taking away the other steak. They stopped the manager and asked if they could box it up for them so they could take it home for their dog. They do have a dog and I believe that's what they were going to do, but the manager had this incredulous look in his eyes. Well, how offensive. I won't eat this steak. It's not good quality and it's too fatty. However, I would like to take it home and give it to my dog. I could see why that would come off very insulting, especially because you are technically getting two steaks for the price of one at that point since they brought you a new one and we don't really know if you're gonna give it to your dog. Maybe that's just a way for you to take home an extra steak. You can't trust anybody. Guy invites people out to go four wheeling with him, takes his motor home along to the campground. Some people sleep in the motor home, some in tents, brought their own four wheelers. At the end of the weekend, he presents everyone with bills for staying at the campsite. <gasps> Hold on, I was sneezed. <coughs> at the end of the weekend, he presents everyone with bills for staying at the campsite, which when totaled has him making money on the weekend. Got offended when the next time he invited people, they made their own arrangements. I mean, are we really friends with these people? It doesn't say friends. Well, you're inviting people for like a weekend trip. You gotta be friends to an extent, right? Like I'm not going on some kind of camping four wheeling trip with people that aren't my friends. Actually, this is a good point to bring up. Guys, give me your advice, okay? For my birthday, it's actually, it's on the 25th, so it's past the time that you're seeing this, but right now it's actually the 24th. Anyways, I planned next week to celebrate my birthday with my friends. We rented, I rented 
one of those like pedal bike drinking tour things where you're all sitting on this thing that has bike pedals or whatever. And it was my idea. I planned it. I paid for the bike. And I'm not asking anyone for money to split and pay for like their seat on the bike. I'm just paying for the bike and inviting people to show up. But now my friends are like, well, no, we should be paying for our seat. It's your birthday. We should be paying. We should pay you back. Like everyone split the cost. That's your seat. And I disagreed. I'm like, no, because I'm planning this. It's my idea. I would never expect you guys to pay for it. I'm paying for it. Like you're taking time and money out of your day to go over there. You're going to spend money anyway and time. Do you, who's right? What, like, what's your opinion on that? I would genuinely love to know that because I'll see it by the time I go and have that celebration. Worked as a waiter in college, table of 12 people. Oof. They decide to pay separately. I offer to split up the check for them. I honestly don't mind splitting checks. Any server that has used Aloha for their POS knows it's easy. Dude at the head of table goes, all right, it's 500 bucks. We got 12 people, everyone throw in 50. I figured they were a work group on per diem. My mind goes 12 times 50, that's $600. Not bad, 20% tip. He scoops up the cash and drops his credit card. I drop off credit card for him to sign. Asshole leaves me 497 bucks on 497. He made 50 bucks of me. Guy got free dinner, 50 bucks and United Miles. Yes, I gave good service. No, the restaurant didn't allow auto gratuity on large parties. And if I had questioned him about not tipping, I would have gotten in trouble. Why are people so stingy though in that in that sense? Why are people so stingy? Like to go out of your way to pocket money on a dinner when you're out with work colleagues, friends, I don't understand that mindset. If you don't want to spend the money or you can't afford to, don't go. Do you know how many times I've had to say no to things in my life because I genuinely could not afford to? You don't got to go to dinner. A friend of mine would join us to dinner to let's say Applebee's. He'd order a side dish or nothing at all, then wait till everyone's done eating and say, hey, you're gonna finish that burger slash fries or chicken to everyone who had leftovers, then make himself a full plate slash meal with everyone's leftovers and eat it. Okay, part of me is like, oh, I feel bad because what if they're genuinely broke or struggling financially and they can't afford groceries and this is their way to eat, but we're looking at these as in the position that these people are not struggling. That's why these stories were put on a certain blog or forum because they're not struggling financially and that's why they are cheapskates. But my heart is like, oh, but what if they can't afford the food? No, we gotta remember where these posts are coming from. It's because they're not financially struggling. They just choose to do that. It's smart. I understand it's smart. You don't want to waste food, but if you're doing it every time, I would probably notice that too. But it's also leftovers, and like if I'm just gonna throw it out, I take my leftovers home. I don't care if there's two bites, I'm taking it home. I don't waste anything. Literally, if there's two bites of a potato left, I'll use that two bites of potato. Some way, somehow. At my hardware store, I've processed a return for a single screw for seven cents. He drove in, parked, walked up, waited in line, and had his receipt ready to go all for seven cents. He made a special trip with forethought for seven cents. I mean, hey, it's your seven cents. You're entitled to your seven cents. Rich, look Patrick. Well, that is a little bit crazy. I'm not willing to give up time for seven cents. I'm just not. That's just me. For a nickel, because we don't even get pennies anymore over here. For a nickel, the gas I've spent to go and get that seven cents back is more. So I really didn't get seven cents back at that point. When my brother was in college, my parents paid for him to live in an apartment with a couple of his friends. When rent was due, he told his friends to give him their share of the rent money and kept it for himself. <gasps> my brother is a spoiled brat. Shut up. What a crappy friend. You guys see what I'm saying? That's your friend. You live with your friends and he's literally stealing your money through college and just pocketing it. He's not even paying rent. He's not even paying rent. And if anything, and if like you were paying rent, that should be going right back to his parents saying, hey, my friends are paying their half the rent. And since you're paying, oh, what a sneaky. A little sneaky snake. 
I'm like that. My neighbor hooked a regular garden hose up to our house before it was in our possession and he legally got water for years, but my parents put a stop to it like a year after they bought the house. My partner found the old hose and threw it back on her property where it is now being taken over by blackberries. She still is getting water illegally from our other neighbor's well. My parents dug this house new well, so we have all the water to ourselves now. No more sharing with cheap old hoarders. Well, especially if you're not gonna ask ask if for some reason you're struggling need some water at least as you don't get to just take it that can be really expensive a water bill uh come on now i went over to a friend's house for dinner in elementary school and at the end of the meal the dad told everyone to dump whatever juice or milk they didn't finish back in the original jug to put it back in the fridge i felt like gagging after having drunk their sunny d <gasps> ew Ooh, the backwash <laughs> especially as kids you guys especially as kids sometimes it just happens but when you're a kid you're sloppy Ugh. oh no oh no Ooh. oh the thought makes me want to gag you be getting floaties and chunkies and things that don't have them oh my wife and i go to garage sales most weeks one time i saw a guy trying to get a purse knocked down from a quarter to a dime for like two minutes. I mean, I haggle fairly hard, but that was the most insane thing I've ever seen. First of all, a purse for a quarter? What year was this? Because that cannot be in recent times. A quarter, you can't even make a phone call anymore for a quarter, like you used to on pay phones. Oh yeah, remember when you could just put a quarter in? Uh-uh, it ain't 25 cents anymore. My aunt is a effing multi-millionaire who owns apartment buildings in Menlo Park, CA. She is a notorious cheapskate. Just two days ago, she gave my daughter a used sippy cup that she had undoubtedly picked up at a garage sale or thrift store as a first birthday present. In the trash it went. Well, that's just unsanitary and slightly disgusting. I'm not a mom, but I wouldn't want to be giving my kid a sippy cup that already has teeth marks. I get you can wash it, you guys. I totally get it, but I would rather not get any gift, really. Would you guys give your kid that sippy cup? Stuffing their date in the trunk so they wouldn't have to pay for their ticket at the drive-in. <laughs> Oh my god. Why plan a date you can't afford then though? In all honesty, like dates can be free. You can go for a walk. That's free. Go outside. Go sit on a bench and talk. You know what I mean? A date can be free if, if you really go, go for a walk. That's probably the only free thing. But it still counts. I'm out of here. Stay classy. Stay sassy. I'll see you tomorrow.